Hi, I'm Dr. John Gray, author of Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. And 30 years ago, in 1984, I wrote my first book, which is called What You Feel, You Can Heal. And in that book, I outlined probably the most powerful self-development tool that has influenced my life. And I know it's influenced the lives of millions of people. And most of my books, I do mention it towards the end, and it's called The Feeling Letter Technique. Now, in my first book, What You Feel You Can Heal, I called it The Love Letter Technique. And the concept is this, whenever you're stressed, if you can't just let it go, you're gripping, subconsciously gripping on to negative emotions. And by bringing your attention, bringing your awareness to your emotions, not just what you feel, you feel rejected, you feel ignored, you feel inadequate. Feeling is actually the way we know what's inside ourselves. And when you can know the emotions, the painful emotions that are associated with stress, the stress you're feeling, then suddenly you can release it. So the idea is to go through a series of specific painful emotions that are universal to everyone. And as you go through about four levels, a shift will take place and you'll get in touch with the actual desire. We might even call it your soul's desire, which is being frustrated and that's what gives rise to painful emotions. Let's say I wanna be successful and I have a belief over here that says you will never succeed then all it takes is for something to happen where there's a setback and suddenly I feel one conflict I want and another part of me goes, oh, but you'll never get it. And now I'm gonna feel angry, I'm gonna feel sad, I'm gonna feel afraid, I'm gonna feel regret, I might feel guilty. There's various emotions, they're painful emotions that if you feel these specific emotions, something unlocks and they get released and you get in touch with your pure desire underneath. And then after writing out your pure desire underneath, it's like the seed of wisdom emerges from within, within yourself. Soul's wisdom comes forth. Love comes forth. Wisdom comes forth. Forgiveness comes forth. The ability to resolve any stress immediately comes forth if you take the time to reflect on your emotions. And this is most powerfully done if you use both sides of your brain, which means to not just feel the emotion, that's on the right side, but to give the emotion a name and to express it, that's the left side. And by doing that in this process, the feeling letter technique, you're also linking the front part of your brain to the middle part of the brain where all these reactions are taking place. And when you connect it to the front part of the brain, that's where the wisdom comes forth. So this is a process you can do by yourself to release stress immediately, and particularly in your marriages and your relationships, when you're mad at your partner, when you're upset, when you're shutting down, when you're just closing your heart, sit down and write this feeling letter. You don't necessarily have to give it to your partner, but you pretend that you're able to say whatever you feel. And you start out by feeling the four magic emotions. The first is anger, frustration, or rage, where you feel mad at somebody. Those are the first four. You just freely express yourself. You're not going to hurt anybody. You do that for a couple of minutes, then you go to the next level, which is to feel the feelings of sadness, disappointment, or hurt. And you just explore those and write them out. You're feeling those emotions as you're writing them. Then the next level, after a couple of minutes of that, what you're afraid of, what you're concerned about, or what you feel scared about. Any of those emotions. And as you write those out, you'll feel it more strongly and you'll feel pain. You'll feel the pain. That's why it's so hard for people to do this unless somebody teaches them to do it. Unless we say, my intention is to feel the pain so it will go away. It's like having a sore muscle and somebody gently massages it. The pain will increase a bit and then it will relax and go away. So you go through those three levels. Then the fourth level is what you feel embarrassed about or what you regret what you feel sorry about, or what you feel ashamed of. And though that's the deepest level, and when you get to that by exploring those emotions, then ask yourself, what is it that I want? What is it that I wish? What is it that I need? Express that for a couple of minutes, and then the resolution takes place. The stress is now starting to dissipate as you get in touch with what you appreciate, what you're grateful for, what you understand, and what you trust. 
And if there's some issue of blame involved, what I forgive that person for. Or if you're blaming yourself, I forgive myself for. This is such a powerful tool that anybody can use. And just that will immediately, within 20 minutes, 15 minutes, your stress level will dramatically drop. You'll gain a greater perspective so you can let go of these stresses that hold us back.